We're going to solve a few basic chain rule problems. We'll find the derivative of cosecant of theta squared, cosecant of 2 theta, and cosecant squared theta. I'll leave links in the description to similar lessons I've done using other trigonometric functions. Let's get into it. These are all pretty straightforward if you know the chain rule, which I've put here just in case you need to revisit it. The derivative of a composite function f of g of x is f prime of g of x times times g prime of x. So let's apply this here to our first problem. We're taking the derivative of cosecant of theta squared. So the inside function here is theta squared. The outside function, the f, is the cosecant. So the first thing we need to do to take the derivative is get f prime of g of x. The derivative of cosecant leaving g of x theta squared in this case, inside. The derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent, or to be more thorough in my description, in this case, we're looking at negative cosecant of theta squared, again, leaving g of x untouched inside the function, negative cosecant cotangent. That's the derivative of cosecant. In the cotangent, we also need to leave that inside function theta squared. So this here, is f prime of g of x. Then we multiply by g prime. Again, g is the inside function, in this case, theta squared. So g prime is just 2 theta. That's the derivative of theta squared. Once more, the key is to identify the inside function, in this case, theta squared. Then take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside unchanged. Only then do we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Let's move on to our second problem. We're going to take the derivative of cosecant of 2 theta. This is very similar. In this case, the inside function is 2 theta. So again, we begin with the derivative of cosecant. So negative cosecant, cotangent. And inside the cosecant and the cotangent, we need to put g, the inside function, which is 2 theta. So it's negative cosecant 2 theta, cotangent 2 theta, and then we multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 2 theta, so the derivative of that is just 2. Finally, let's take the derivative of cosecant squared. In this case, the inside function is cosecant, the outside function is a thing squared. So we need to begin by taking the derivative of a thing squared. The derivative of x squared, for example, is 2x. That's pretty much what we're doing here. So we bring this exponent of 2 down as a factor, and then we leave the inside function unchanged. The inside function, again, Again is cosecant theta. Then we reduce the exponent by 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So the new exponent is 1, but we don't really need to write the exponent of 1 since that's implied. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Again, in this case, the inside function is cosecant theta. So the derivative is negative cosecant theta times cotangent theta. Make sure when you're doing this that you make it clear there is multiplication here. In this case, I've made it clear by putting this in parentheses, but all too often I see people neglect the parentheses and then it just looks like subtraction, which makes the answer wrong. If you wanted to, you could put a dot sign here for the multiplication, or you could just move the negative to the front and that might be the clearest way to remove all ambiguity. Those are three basic chain rule problems with cosecant. Let's do one more bonus problem that's a little harder. We'll find the derivative of cosecant of sine of theta squared. Here we've got a composite function and there's a few inside functions. We're going to have to apply the chain rule a couple times, but it always starts with just the derivative of the outside function. The outside function is cosecant. So we begin with the derivative of cosecant. That's negative cosecant cotangent. In each case, we need to leave the inside function unchanged. So inside the cosecant is sine of theta squared. Inside the cotangent is sine of theta squared. Now we can multiply by the derivative of the inside function. 
The inside function, of course, is sine of theta squared. So to take the derivative of that, we begin with the derivative of sine, which is cosine, and leave the inside function unchanged. The inside function is theta squared. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of that, which is 2 theta. You can see with the chain rule, you just go layer by layer, derivative of cosecant, and then we go a layer in, we take the derivative of sine, and then we go to the last layer, the derivative of theta squared. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One Exercises playlist for more. Link in the description.